Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, SpaceX delivers the cargo and sticks another landing, heavy-duty Warbird rides available at AirVenture, Perlin 2 stages for its mission. I'm Brie Cross, it's July 19th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. SpaceX continues to provide YouTube with some fantastic videos as they recovered a fifth Falcon 9 booster and for the second time the rocket landed back at Cape Canaveral following its launch of a Dragon Supply spacecraft to the International Space Station. The spacecraft launched early Monday morning from Cape Canaveral, sending the Dragon Supply ship on its way to the orbiting outpost. About 2.5 minutes after launch, the first stage separated from the capsule, fired its rockets again, and returned to the Cape for a soft landing a few miles south of the launch pad. NASA reports that the Dragon spacecraft is delivering almost 5,000 pounds of cargo to the space station, which will be delivered on Wednesday morning, July 20th. In a related story, The Verge reports that the second booster SpaceX recovered, which was the first to successfully land on the drone ship in April, will be the first to fly for a second time. It is expected to fly again sometime this fall, according to the report. While at EAA AirVenture, you'll notice EAA's Ford Trimotor and their classic Bell helicopters giving rides all day long, but those aren't the only rides that will be available at AirVenture, and not all rides originate at Whitman Regional Airport. This year, the Commemorative Air Force will show up with their P-51 Mustang Red Nose and their SB-2C-5 Helldiver, the Beast, at Fond du Lac Airport as part of AirVenture 2016. They'll be there from Monday, July 25th through Sunday, July 31st. Rides will be available on both of these historic aircraft. Fond du Lac Airport is only a 30-minute drive from Whitman Regional Airport, and buses run to and from Fond du Lac Airport on a regular schedule from the AirVenture site. A rides desk will be set up at the CAF headquarters tent, located on Boeing Plaza. The rides aren't cheap, but it's an experience you'll never forget. If you're considering a ride in one of these aircraft, check out the CAF website for more information about making advanced reservations. After the break, Perlin 2 heads for South America. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. The Perlin 2 stratospheric glider has gone to sea, departing the United States aboard a container ship on the first leg of its journey that will end up in El Calafat, Argentina by mid-August. The journey makes a transition from a successful six-month flight test program in Nevada to mission flights in Argentina's Patagonia region where wind conditions allow the team to begin high-altitude aerospace and climate research. The Perlin 2 glider is a pressurized sailplane designed to ride updrafts called mountain waves that in certain regions near the North and South Poles can reach into the stratosphere. For a brief period in August and September every year, the weather in the Andes Mountains near El Calafat may provide the needed lift. The aircraft is designed to collect data for research into climate change. If the aircraft is able to climb as high as hoped, it will also set a new altitude record for non-powered aircraft. Every Tuesday, we look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. Here is this week's Aero Calendar. Just in case you're completely unplugged from what we call the Aeroverse, we'll remind you that EAA AirVenture opens its gates on July 25th and runs for the rest of the week. For us, it's hard to imagine that it all begins in just six days from now because we're already there. You can start your adventure at AirVenture on the evening of Saturday, July 23rd by tuning in to our AirVenture Innovation Preview webcast. We hope you tune in and we also hope to see you there. 
And if you need to get a head start on AirVenture, there is the Heavy Bomber Weekend being held in Janesville, Wisconsin, July 22nd through the 24th. It's the fourth annual gathering of World War II era aircraft with the CAF and EAA joining forces the weekend before AirVenture 2016. The three-day event will feature many historic aircraft from the CAF and EAA. There will also be World War II reenactors and lots to eat. On July 22nd and 23rd, you can head to Enid, Oklahoma for a day of high flying and family fun at the Vance Air Force Base Open House Air Show. At this show, the USAF Thunderbirds take to the air, pushing their F-16 Fighting Falcons to the limit. In addition to the Thunderbirds, watch as several civilian planes perform stunts and aerial acts. Meanwhile, back on the ground, check out aviation history at the Vintage Airplane Display. The 2016 Vance Air Force Base Open House is open to the public and admission is free. There's so much going on, it's hard to cover it all. And remember, if you can't be at AirVenture with us, tune in to aero-news.net and we will keep you posted. After these messages, Eileen Collins to speak at the GOP National Convention. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Eileen Collins, who was the first female shuttle pilot and the first woman to command a space shuttle mission, will speak at the Republican National Convention. Space News reports that Collins was an outspoken critic of the cancellation of the Constellation moon landing program. The passage of the FAA Reauthorization Act of 2016 represents a big win for the 36 Collegiate Training Initiative Program schools in the United States. The legislation returns the relevancy of Collegiate Training Initiative graduates in FAA air traffic controller hiring practices. Evolution Aircraft has completed performance and noise testing confirming the performance improvements of Hartzell's 5-blade composite swept tip prop for the turbine Evolution. The new 5-blade propeller is available as an optional upgrade over the 4-blade prop now being used. In the International Rocketry Challenge at Farnborough 2016, the U.S. team sponsored by Raytheon Company bested teams from the U.K., France, and Japan. This is the second straight year a team from the U.S. claimed the international title. Navworks has announced the giveaway of five ADS-600 EXP ADS-B out units to attendees at AirVenture Oshkosh 2016. Winners will be selected daily Monday, July 25th through Friday, July 29th. Visit the Navworks booth during AirVenture 2016 to register and good luck. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. DJI has announced the Zenmuse Z3, DJI's first integrated aerial zoom camera, optimized for still photography. The Zenmuse Z3 will offer up to a 7x zoom. The camera incorporates DJI's gimbal technology, which has been upgraded to work optimally with its zoom capabilities. DJI says the zoom camera is aimed at providing new capabilities for industrial applications such as inspections and surveying. The Zenmuse Z3 is compatible with the Inspire 1, Matrix 100, Matrix 600 drones, and uses the company's dedicated HD video downlink, Lightbridge and Lightbridge 2, providing up to 3.1 miles of HD transmission range. The company says the system is fully integrated into the DJI GO app and provides a live feed from the camera and the ability to change camera settings, swipe to zoom in and out, capture photos or video, and to activate intelligent flight modes. DJI says the Zenmuse Z3 will start shipping at the end of this month. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. 
If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We'll see you tomorrow.